Hey guys, Nick here and today I want to show you how to use your Vienna Ensemble Pro as a really big modular sound design system. So for example, uh, like in the previous episode where I told you about how to use it, use Vienna Ensemble Pro for reamping your guitars by sending a guitar signal uh, through various amplifiers and then just muting and selecting uh, your amps that you want to use. Uh, by using the audio input of Vienna Ensemble Pro. This time we are going to use Vienna Ensemble Pro as an external instrument which is hosting our synthesizer on one channel and then on other channels we have various uh, plug-in chains that we are using to process our sound our synthesizer uh, signal but the thing is that everything is hosted inside vienna ensemble pro and inside your daw i only have as you can see here just this one instrument uh, channel of which is the vienna ensemble pro and one output so basically your daw will treat it as this one uh, instrument channel but you have a whole amount of uh, channels here and outputs inside this one instance that you can control so first things first I'm gonna play you uh, uh, a thing that I made and the first thing that I have here is just the percussion that are soloed it's just for background but the main thing is the synthesizer with the plugin so nothing too fancy just your regular beat at 90 bpm per minute sort of like a hip-hop but what happens when i press play and i have my synthesizer working okay so this is all being hosted inside ve pro as you can see So that was uh, the signal itself. Now, the thing that I did here is that I have my a modular synth here, which is hosted, you know, just your standard, you know, software modular synth. When I press play, okay, so this is how it sounds by itself. Let me just mute my drums. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Now, uh, everything from here goes into the master output which is just my output one and uh my output one and two now uh besides having a modular synth on the synth channel here i also have a compressor with which is kind of like just you know uh controlling my uh the dynamics of of the sequence now the thing is that i have all these sends here that i am sending into these various into these various channels which have like as you can see here like the uh, decapitator uh devlog each one of them uh most of them actually have the implemented integrated uh, vienna equalizer pro just to control some of the frequencies that are building up so i have a more of a cleaner uh cleaner signal uh what i have here are also like valhalla space modulator tal chorus even tides octavox is on this i have labeled each and every one of them so if i mute these now i'm muting currently but i'll show you later on how i can uh, how i can control everything uh, as an instrument so if I, if i press play uh so this is just the clean signal through the compressor so i'm adding a sort of a dry driven signal with with a couple of instances here of decapitator and devil locks and then i can add a chorus so kind of like spreads everything so this is all uh playing uh simultaneously with the clean signal so i'm using sense here as you can see dirt chorus my pitch delay my space which is a whole bunch of different reverbs uh delay regular delay and a crystal is a crystallizer uh, plug-in effect now I have a pitch delay which does this so it's just basically uh, a couple of uh, delays that are uh, using the 
Octavox Eventide Pitch Shifter and it's just bouncing around various uh, pitches. Now Space is my reverb, uh, which is a, this is a freebie called Cloud C, pretty cool stuff. Uh, and Valhalla Supermassive, which is also a freebie, and I am cutting like everything here because all of these mids and subs are, are creating a lot of issues uh, with the reverb. And I have a regular delay, which is uh, cascading two delays uh, one in, oh, into one another. So I have my Echo Boy Jr. and Echo Boy, and I have a Crystallizer, which is my Camel Space and uh, crystallizer. Now, um, now the th next thing that I want to show you is my automation here that I have. Now, uh, this new version of Vienna Ensemble Pro has the ability to enable you to create automations and assign uh, some of the parameters of the hosted plugins and instruments inside of it that you can control via MIDI CC on your controller. So basically what I have here are my MIDI CC controls. As you can see, CC1, 14, 94, 95, 15, 32, 21, 7, and 16. It's fairly easy. You just click here and you select which one you want. And then these controls are here that you can select. And uh, over here to the right, you have the controls parameters which you want to control. So my CC1 is basically my mod wheel on my uh, keyboard controller and I am controlling the frequency on my master channel off my, uh, off my filter freak which is my uh, basically a filter which goes on my uh, master channel. I will show it to you later. Uh, the automation here also I have on MIDI CC14 on my fader on my MIDI controller I am controlling just the volume so basically I am controlling uh, the pitch delay pitch delays for example as you can see as I am moving my fader on my control I can turn on and off some of the some of uh, the signals so let's say for example and it's the same for the rest as you can see on my automation here uh it goes uh cc94 controls the volume of the reverbs 95 is the delay uh, 15 is crystals choruses dirt eh, you get the picture you know so everything i am moving my faders here and then i can send very so for example i can press and my mod wheel, as you can see here, is controlling the frequency of this filter. So when I'm moving my mod wheel, I'm controlling my filter. So if I press, let me just, uh, so the drums are muted. Excellent. So if I press play, and I can hear my, okay. Now, check this out. So this is on the master channel, basically, which is controlling everything that goes, all of these are going through my master outputs and I have a limiter to control everything. So, so let's say I wanna add some, of course, uh, my master bus is being controlled by MIDI CC7, which is like the standard volume control in, in MIDI. And my uh, MIDI CC16 is controlling my uh, dry signal. So let's say I want to add some dirt so I can combine these and I can just tweak this, you know, and I can hear only the sort of like only the dry driven dirt signal. Then I add the chorus, for example, and just, okay, and let's add some Space, and some delays, and some crystals. And then what I can do generally is that I can now balance. Like I don't want any dirt or chorus, nor I want any space. See? And then I can just use. And then I can 
controller with my mod wheel, right? Well, let's just go back. And then you can do a live performance and record all of that in your DAW. So for example, let's just turn off everything. So everything plays smoothly. I have my beat here. This is my uh, filter on the master channel and my limiter here. Okay. So it goes fairly smooth. When I'm controlling my, as you can see on the frequency. And let's say I want to add some dirt. And I want to add some quartz. And this is like my and let's say I want to add some crystal. Completely different sound just by controlling the faders. And it's all live. We add some delay. This reverb is sort of like a drone, just gives it some air. And then let's say everything goes with the, uh, I can just pull everything back. <laughs> very, very, very cool stuff. As you can see, I'm not moving my mouse at all. I'm controlling everything with my MIDI controllers. Pretty cool thing. And I can automate the level all of this via my MIDI CC7 on my controller, which is my master bus. And there you go. That's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can have a lot of fun with this and you can get lost in all of the combinations that whatever plugins that you have, as long as they are VST uh, 2.0, uh, it can, uh, your, uh, on your PC, I don't know what, what's it like on the Mac. I've, I haven't been using Mac in, in quite a while, but if you ha uh, have plugins that are v VST 2.0, you can host them inside your Vienna Ensemble Pro. You can host all of your, as I said here, virtual instruments like I have my soft tube modular here system and then you just add a whole bunch of uh, racks and signal chains uh, of your plugins and just use the sends here it's fairly simple just by adding a bus on a send and that's and you create a bus just by going right click insert bus and it will create a new bus here color coded rename it and uh, that's fairly it. I mean, I know it, it maybe it kind of like looks uh, too complicated, but if you dedicate enough time to it, it, uh, it really gives 
a lot of great results and you can create some awesome, awesome original uh, sounds of your own just by uh, sending various signals from your instruments to a lot of different plugins and that's the core of, of sound design and twisting sounds into something completely different to have that is really uh, only uh, original uh, created by yourself so have fun with this and I'll see you in the next video bye